So let me see if I can just make sure I have this right. With gene editing, and they have things like Talon, Zinc Finger, CRISPR Cas, mm -hmm. all these different mm -hmm. names, but it's just basically going to the store and saying, I'll take that scissors, or that scissors, or that scissors. The scissors are programmed to find a particular code along the DNA, and if it matches, then it's like a, a pinball machine that lights up and says, this is what I want to do, and it goes in there and it cuts. Now that's the only thing you can engineer, is where it finds it and where it cuts. They might make mistakes and cut in the wrong place because it might look similar, so there's mistakes there. It might cut in the place that you want, but the same formula on the DNA might be found in 10 or 20 or 30 other places, so it might cut a lot of places. But what they're relying on is the part that they can never control, at least at this point, and that is what happens when the cell realizes, uh-oh, life-threatening, I have to reattach. So they don't have control as to what it brings in to that reattached DNA. And it can find anything in the environment. It can bring the mechanisms that were used to infect the cell in the first place. It can take the cow DNA from the, from the, the Petri dish or just random E. coli. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so what happens is, correct me if I'm wrong, the people that do gene editing have algorithms on computers and the computers tell them what the risks are. And they say, well, if you're trying to cut this, then you might end up cutting all of these other places because they have similar, similar uh, codes. And we can live with that because we don't know of any real significance of those sections. So if they get cut and rearranged, we don't think it'll be a problem for the organism. Maybe later they'll find out it is, but for now we think it's safe. So the entire safety argument is that the computer algorithms that they use tell them that it's safe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there was a study that came out a year and a half ago which actually sequenced, they said, okay, what would the computer say about this mice genome? They said, oh, it would say, these are the things that would probably happen. When they actually sequenced it, it turns out there were hundreds or thousands of mutations up and down the DNA, almost none of which were predicted by the computer but you still have an entire industry that's driven by the computer model. And what does the computer model say? It's safe. So everyone says, my computer model says it's safe, therefore it's safe. When they actually do the sequence and said, guess what guys, you have mutations you've never thought of, you never heard of, bigger than you thought of, that would ever be predicted, smaller point mutations, many more than you thought of, any one of which can turn a harmless crop into a deadly one or turn into a, a, a poison for the animal, 